Let's go, Shots. We're live? Yeah. What's going on, guys? Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming to you live from Tampa, Florida. Florida. That sounds good. Intro- you have to ask for introductions? So, today, uh, we have with us Miss... Introduce yourself. Oh, me? Yeah. Okay. Um, I have to know George Rosado. The Shet Master. Chip Master and Chip. Thank you for coming back for another Random Cast Part 2. Do you know what a Trish and athlete? We got um, Katie, our new athlete. Yes. Katie. Katie from, and what do you do? Introduce yourself. I am from Columbus, Ohio, and I compete in powerlifting and in figure. And I don't know. What else about me? Oh, that was an introduction. Right. Huh? Oh, I'm like, yeah. oh, okay, I'm George. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I think like when I was in the, I was in the bathroom earlier uh thinking you know what you do when you're in the bathroom thinking and i was like oh wow we're all crossovers yeah like i just that hit me today wow. um all of us both do power raw power lifting and mm-hmm. natural body and our natural figure competitor mm-hmm. and i think like not even you guys but like why is that so popular nowadays like why are people doing both like why are people not picking one thing like i i don't know the answer but i guess your opinion like, well, i think there's there's several reasons I mean, I know for myself, competing in, like, the being in more the physique bodybuilding world first, the idea of powerlifting was really attractive because it's more, well, it's objective in terms of what you lift, and I really do enjoy that type of training. So it's, it's less about, like, going into the gym and just, I don't know, oh, four sets of 15, hypertrophy, yeah. RPE of nine, but, like... Uh, that's just kind of boring. Whereas if you have specific numbers, I like the challenge. And I, I mean, I think that's one aspect, but there's more. That's crazy. More to it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think everything, everything has its place. You know. Yeah. You be starting off deep. <laughs> <laughs> you be starting them off deep, boy. You gotta go back. <laughs> yeah, low key, I go deep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I think it's all, you know, it's all relative at that. At the end of the day, right, I, I, I believe adherence plays a big role on whatever it is um, as far as as lifting, right? Mm-hmm. But since we're talking about the crossover of, let's just say, power lifting and mm-hmm. uh, let's just say natural bodybuilding, just because it's actually more commonly known, uh, I mean, I, I would say 2015 has definitely been the year that I've uh, yeah, I was looking at USAPL to like, just like enrollment, and it's just like yeah, off the exploded. chain. Yeah, well, a nationals was like what, like I down. think How almost twelve hundred. That's it's ridiculous. ridiculous. Yeah. Four platforms, but yeah. like, but I think the thing that um, that I that I realized about it, and I'm kind of glad you're here, Katie. It's like um, nothing explodes without women. Nothing, because yeah. like yeah. women are the premier consumers yeah. in like Western uh, in America, at least in Western society, mm-hmm. and so like in our business, in all businesses, should at least if you haven't adopted this, like, uh, and you can kind of learn it easily from like nightclub. So like, if you have a business or if you're selling something, um, like if guys like it, guys will like it, but if girls like it, girls will like it, and guys and, will like well, it. Well, and then like, everyone will know about exactly. it. Exactly, like that's like the key yeah. to real. So that's like the nightclub, They're like the girls free yeah. before, the like because yeah. if you can get women there, you'll get guys there too. Right. But like if it's right. just sausage fest, so I think like right. this year, <laughs> USAPL and like all these powerlifting federations, dude, it's been the girls who Killing like. It. I guess the girls We're who live, it. dude, they're they're the reason that it's yeah. like I, I think part exploding. of it exploding. So like, um. So we were all trained yesterday. So like, what you got before I go? No, I was gonna. No, I was just. What you said is is very true about if you know boys like it, then boys like it. But if girls like it, yeah, mm-hmm. girls and, and boys just, like always. it yeah. because chicks are there. Yeah, yeah. and I think uh, like specifically in let's just say in the lifting world, right? It's just like. I, I I feel like that guys like they see a girl lifting yeah. or so and they like feel the need that like oh, <laughs> yeah. oh I, I, I need to start lifting I need to like do that too like yeah. wait a minute she ain't lifting yeah. more than me you know like it's just like a like it makes them want especially individual sport too like mm-hmm. like uh, you, like think about like tennis 
like back in the, the day, ego, like, the ego, the guy, dude, ego, like it was like, what's that dude's name? I forgot. It's Peter, Peter something. Peter was it Peter Frampton or something. I don't right. know. I don't know. The, I forgot the dude's name. But like Arthur, like Arthur Ashe, like yeah. used to be these great like tennis championships in the seventies. Now, like, who's like the real last person we care about? Like Andre Agassi, that was a male. It's all chicks. Like all we care about is like uh, the the Williams sisters yeah. and like it's like tennis. Like I feel like individual sports have mm-hmm. like the biggest platform for women to come in and shine mm-hmm. because it's like like women team sports they never seem to do super no. well. Like soccer is done, yeah. but women right. in individual sports is like it's like in. I think powerlifting's catching up, catching on on that. Yeah, for sure. um, but what I don't get is like the energy that you have mentally because I'm not a woman. Like I know yeah. when I lift, I know how I feel as a dude, yeah. and I'm like I like to lift because like I, I don't know, like it feels it masculine. makes you feel like yeah. a man, right? Yeah. But what like unquote. what what is like the energy you channel? And I'm not saying it can't be the same thing, yeah. but like like i don't understand like i hear women say i like how it makes me feel like yeah what the fuck does i like how it makes me feel even mean <laughs> like i like i like how brushing my teeth makes me feel like yeah <laughs> yeah i well i mean there's multiple kind of aspects to it i think i think as a female too it's a little bit different because well i mean especially powerlifting mm. getting into powerlifting being strong being stronger than some guys that's like freaking badass oh you know? so it's empowering like, in a way yeah 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 exactly I can see that. I can exactly see that. like it's like oh like i just squatted whatever you know in my amrep and it's like that just makes me feel better than going in and just working out like it's just that's very, amazing it's a, a sense of accomplishment like i don't know there's nothing for me there's been nothing like it mm. like i've never Do you feel that it makes you fun like i love going in and being like i feel badass you know just like <laughs> just like lifting this fucking weight and just being like mm stronger you know just like strong not just yeah, strong yeah, yeah. for a girl but like strong in just general period yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's empowering i think too um not to say like you know like as a female you're discriminated against right or that's not what i'm saying but like there's kind of in society you know the female is like the the you know be gentle with her and like it's 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 exciting to be like no i'm yeah i'm as strong as you like i can yeah like i can i can keep up with the boys you know i remember at nationals i I saw kim walford she didn't she doesn't know me yeah but i saw her and i was like kim uh i was like hey i just wanted to meet you blah blah blah. and she was like she was super nice yeah and like i shook her hand and like i was like can i just give you a hug i just want to give you a hug like and then she started saying something i was like no no don't don't even don't even waste your energy on me like i'm like (laughs) like dude like these powerlifting chicks like they're to me they're just as good like i saw the list came out the other day for like the top 25 people like yeah. like like shout out to ls he was on there elaine was on there um but like and you i wasn't on there weren't you on there no nah, oh all. i no, saw another list I'd, oh. I'd probably be like top 40 i think oh. maybe but um i saw i saw the raw I, I i anyways the first one i saw was the raw females that came out yeah and i remember looking at it and i had and i know as a male you'll feel this like I had a genuine interest in it. It wasn't like, because I'm be honest, I see WNBA and I'm like, I don't fucking care. Like, I don't care. Yeah. I just kind of brush it all. Or like, yeah. but like, I saw this list and I was like genuinely interested. Like, mm-hmm. yo, like, mm-hmm. and oh, because I think another thing is like Wilkes. Like, they're yeah. standard. I actually like, had to Google sure. up a couple of those names. I'm like, hold on, who who is this? Yeah, right? Dude, like, right? who is Dude, it's, a, this it's Wilkes another level. When you see these Wilkes, it's another level of respect. Yo. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. um, yeah, and I think the Wilkes, that's, it's cool to have, like, that, that score that's, like, kind of I'm stronger level. than a dude. Yeah, I'm stronger I'm than like, you, dude. Hey, dude, your Wilkes is 400. Well, <laughs> you kind of suck, you <laughs> know? kind of stronger than you. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's. It's fine. Although 400 Wilkes is very strong. I, yeah. I mean, <laughs> okay, low key, okay, okay, low okay, key, okay, low okay, key. Okay. I, know, strong, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. No. Mine isn't that much higher than that. Well. A little bit, but. yeah. Jesse's is like out of the water on everybody. Yeah, but, it's crazy. But anyways, um, so so again, it's empowering the feeling. Um, I guess how do you how do you get over, um, and if it's too much, stop me. In your personal mm-hmm. life, like mm-hmm. being better, being stronger than dudes. Like I'm yeah. sure you meet a lot of dudes. You get a lot of proposals. Like how do you take that? Like. Like you intimidate dudes. Yeah. Well, like you're not small at all. No. Like, yeah. like you're like. I've right. how many times have I told you just randomly? Dude, yeah, you're, you're like, fucking jacked. Yeah, like, yo. yeah. 
Was She's jacked, that. dude. I was thinking about earlier, especially when the height, when the lighting hits. I'm dude, like, she's jacked. <laughs> as shit. Damn, bro. And I was just thinking about it, and I was like, it's empowering, but right. like, how do you? I don't want to say that. I don't want to say like, how do you get in touch with a feminine side? Because that's right, that's terrible right. to say. No, but, like, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, but like, how do you like? I can't even think of a good word. Like, how do you like channel your inner girly? It's not even that because I don't want to make it sound degrading, <laughs> no, like or girly yeah, or yeah. something. But it's, it's not like, degrading. but it's like how how do you even like respect a man to have any dominance or respect or right. over you or any? Lo- and not saying a man needs to be dominant. Like deep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Because girl, women are getting empowered, and right. I gotta be honest, like dudes, dudes are not getting better. No. Like men have not gotten okay. better no. for like the past 30, 40 years. Yeah. yeah. And the funny thing with that is that, you know. I, I don't know what Katie's answer is going to be, but it's just like, like you said, like, let's just take a look at the social media aspect right. of it. Dude, they're uh, killing online. Females yeah. with, yo, let's just say with 2 million followers, they're not even looking at guys with Dude, anything less than that. Like, it's just like, it's either has to be up there or like, you're not worth it, right? Dude, or it's like, just, on the record, and I've said this to everybody, like, and everybody thinks I'm stupid for saying it, but like. I'll say it publicly. Like Kim Kardashian is one of my favorite people. Now, I'm not a fan of what she sells or what she put out or her her image and what everybody says. Mm-hmm. What I what I am a fan of is that she is a woman and she is taking things that society would like to degrade and make you feel ashamed for mm-hmm. and she has made millions of dollars by empowering herself by her mm-hmm. woman things that mm-hmm. everyone else thinks was a fucking joke. And like I see this in like fitness girls and like powerlifting and it's like how many followers do you have now? Like 60 something I think it's like over 70 now. 70 okay dude this stadium that stadium doesn't yeah. fit seventy thousand people yeah it's dude crazy. think about that yeah. like uh, the the we live in tampa the bucks play yeah you couldn't fit all your followers in a stadium <laughs> yeah that is crazy. a lot of power yeah. like that's fucking insane yeah. like and so influence. like yeah they may want to come to look at your physique and they think in their mind like i'm coming to creep but like dude like imagine if you were to obviously you do have a business sell something and you got yeah. like two percent of that crowd to buy right that's a lot of fucking money I know. like and i love it and i love that women are getting there it's yeah. like these dudes think excuse me these dudes think like they're getting tricked it's like the bait and switch they think they're here for some thirsty shit but like you're here to, you're here yeah. to fucking support my life yeah. dude like yeah. i think it's amazing yeah. so no i um, do did you think about that answer yet what was the question Shit, we moved on to something. Oh, with, okay. How do you deal with the shuts when they're trying to shut you well, up? Well, I mean, personally, for me, it's not really even, like, it's some, not really something I think about. I just kind of do this for me. I'm not doing it. I'm not like, oh, my God, I'm, I'm, I put on muscle and I'm intimidating the guys. Like, I don't really think about that. Like, it just, yeah. like, I kind of know that that's a that's reality. And I'm like, well, you better step up your fucking game or it's like, yeah. but it's, I, yeah no without, i don't I'm, know but i'm I, not really like concerned with it so I don't, yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel you because i think once you get to any of uh, any new level with anything in life yeah. you have to leave that old class behind so right. like, like when you finish college or something yeah like you now leave a class yeah. behind of yeah. like like i don't work at a restaurant anymore yeah you know what i mean and it's like and it's like yeah, i can't deal with that or like when you um when you have a kid, like when mm-hmm. people have their first kid, they're like, I'm not going out anymore. Like you leave yeah. that old class yeah. of things that you used to do. Yeah. So I'm not concerned. Yeah. Like, you're not concerned. You've left like, it. Like, okay. If you're intimidated by me or like, if I look like, kinda, yeah, okay, that's fine. So like, I, okay. So I guess if not for yeah. you then, so with women who obviously listen to this podcast, I hope maybe like, well, there hopefully, are, I know. Your problem I actually, I, I, I actually know we do have a good fair amount yeah. of women in, yeah. our, in our demographic. Um, but they're go- you're going to get it's like i don't know anything you're gonna get muscles right you're gonna get muscles <laughs> you're gonna be strong yeah like so how with this new power you have with great power comes great responsibility mm-hmm. with this new empowerment that you of self that you have what does a woman do now that she's leaving the societal construct of i need of the of the guy who thinks i need my woman to be weaker than me and right. stuff like and so what what does a woman do with that like now that she has this like, how do you wear it, I guess? How do you rock yeah. it? How do you, like... Well, I think it's too... Something for me that I've always wanted to do is, you know... I mean, my following has kind of grown organically, and I guess I do feel like I have a responsibility... Oh, you didn't pay for them followers? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Barely. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. I do be doing them cleanses. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I <laughs> Those think, teas? Yeah, when the they detox. fucking... <laughs> <dude>. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, so I kind of feel a responsibility to be a positive figure and with other Influence. women. Yeah. Like it's so so with this kind of empowerment comes I feel like a responsibility to demonstrate to others, especially females, the empowerment that I felt and because I want others to experience yeah. the same thing. So I don't know. It's like more independence, more just yeah, yeah. It, it's not just empowering for me and weightlifting. Like I'm not just like, oh, yeah, I'm stronger. It's like in all aspects. I think yeah. it carries over. So that's why I appreciate weightlifting so much. Yeah, and, yeah. and especially to just working hard at something and, and seeing the grind strength. To grind. Yeah, yeah. And then it's empowers me in more ways than just just strength and yeah. and fitness, you know. So so that's that's, he that's heavier than just lifting a sport. Right, though. right. It's like, uh, so pretty. that's like what I want to kind of what I want other people to know. And I mean, I've had females, you know, say to me like, I I started powerlifting, I started lifting, and like I feel better in my life than I ever have, and yeah. that's awesome. So it well yeah. Uh, well, I think the thing too that's unique. Yeah. And like I can compare this as um, a minority in America, and like so, like women, I guess historically, um, I guess women's suffrage peak was like 1929, 1930, I think, or something like that. Don't fact check me. That's when they like were able to vote. Yeah. So it's been like not even a hundred years. Women have had women have had like rights to like go out there and get it. Right. Like and then on top like that's like one person's life like hundred years it's not that very long no, and then on top of that like women didn't even women got into the workplace but they didn't get into like the serious no. workplace till like late eighties yeah like, like my well my mom I remember I was talking to her and you know just talking about why she she was a teacher yeah and she still is and you know I was like why did you and my aunt was a teacher I'm like well why'd you pick that yeah, she yeah. said well pretty much all I could pick. I was like, you're yeah. a teacher? And that was teacher not that nurse. long ago. Yeah. Teacher or nurse or and something. That was I mean, the best. business? Like, no, yeah. that was dominated by men. And I mean, I still, because I went to business school and I still mm. kind of felt that. Without a doubt. Men um, for sure. Um, but I was lucky to work in, like, for my internships and, yeah, yeah. and those sort of things where females were had more, yeah. um, I'd say, like, This is, like, one of the, the company, earliest but... forms of, like, I think, historically, like, there's not too many outlets right now. There's like yeah. tech and there's a few things that women can kind of get a foot in f mm -hmm. fairly without being mm -hmm. part of the boys club. Yeah. And I really think, and this may sound like I'm making it a bigger thing than it is, but like women can like empower themselves in fitness, make a career out of yeah, fitness. Like exactly. dude, like historically in the world, this is like the f these are this is one of the few industries where women can like come up dominate dude they yeah. don't need an investor yep. just, yeah just, just fucking have a fucking iphone 5s <laughs> or higher and you can make a fucking just business record some videos dude, it's amazing yeah. and have Woody a gym progress picks, you know? dude right you can do that too but yeah. hopefully they'll buy right that's yeah, the, that's yeah. the thing like you can you can that's the, that's the trick that chicks gotta know too you gotta like, warp the you picture. can you can post cute pictures and pictures of your butt but like you it's a business so like yeah. if I, all i posted was like troll stuff is anybody gonna buy that you know what i mean like if if fucking coca-cola only put out silly commercials would anybody button no they won't fucking buy it. they gotta yeah. take it serious yeah. so like i don't know i think it's amazing like yeah. i don't know i'm just such a fucking libertarian entrepreneur like i'm seeing these women do this like mm -hmm. and like i said with me too like even like like us as minorities like do like do you think when my fucking grandma moved here like she she got a home loan approval for a nice neighborhood mm -hmm. like we're the first mm -hmm. like we are the first like and i love it and i just love like people breaking doors down and shit so i think um this conversation actually made me understand it more it's it's more than just lifting weights oh for sure like it's it's a yeah. next level yeah that's happening absolutely wow. that's yeah. some revolutionary you don't see shit. very many females running their i mean it's like kind of a no, new era dude. running their own business like no dominating with social media yeah. now yeah. Like you create your own brand you don't need a yeah. supplement company yeah. you don't need a sponsor you don't need like, anything you can it's do it like yourself. that's the thing like with you guys you guys are how you sure. market yourself Dude, you guys would be oh, shit, the exact same without the novo like 100 yeah. like you don't need us like no one needs a sponsor like yeah. it's nice don't get me wrong oh, but like of course yeah but like you don't need it right. like you can still right. you don't like because i even a few years ago like when i was sponsored i had to like ask for everything because yeah. social media wasn't as popping like hey am i gonna be in this bodybuilding.com feature can i be in this bubble like i had to ask for shit yeah now like you want something i want to do a seminar fuck it i'm gonna yeah. buy my own plane tickets i'm gonna do my own i'm right, doing my own marketing right. and it like not a lot of industries can do that and so yeah. 
I think I finally have talked it out, and I finally get girls who powerless. <sighs> you understand it now? I guess. It, well, if you're not if you're not being an idiot with it and actually like right. getting business, right? But, but yeah, mm. but yeah. Did you remember that? You know, the answer to the question yet? What? What? Huh? You forgot the answer to the. Oh, you answered it already. I answered it. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. yeah. Shit. Mm. What's on your plate? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, what's on the mind? What's in the life? I agree with all that. Um, man, women are killing coming it, up, man. dude. Specifically in you were raised by a single industry. mother, right? Correct. Me too. So when I see that, yeah, it's, it's like man, it's like it's, damn, it makes get me it, like, yes, yo, get it, like get it, get that feeling. money, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. like yeah, warriors, right? What else? What else is on your mind? Random cast. You got some heavy shit last time. <laughs> did you listen to the last one? You did. Yeah, I did. I she did. was I, good. Yeah, she, <laughs> she was good. It, it was, man. That was that was really deep, man. I was holding those thoughts in. <laughs> <laughs> I was holding those thoughts for a while. Oh, man. You got anything new? Um, not for nothing. Not for nothing and shit. Oh, shout out to uh, everybody in the Novo Tribe, and all my athletes in the Novo Nutrition. We never shout you out, so shout out. Wait, what were we talking about before? We, we were, were talking, talking about knee sleeves something. before. Oh, that's kind yeah, of... it's not yeah. fucking knee sleeves. Fuck knee sleeves. Yeah. yeah. You don't need that shit. Um, <laughs> I mean, do you do you feel that you could... Well, not not really. Like, how do you... Well, let's just talk about gear. Uh, okay. Gear in the sense of not... Gear powerlifting, right? Or... You gear know, like raw. steroids? No, no, no. Not gear, not steroids. I'm talking about, like, equipment. Like equipment. Like equipment, equipment. Oh, powerlifting? Yeah. Like, how do you... It's funny because... Wearing gear just, just in, all right. This is exactly how I feel. Like every time I put on yeah. the the equipment, yeah. it's like I'm going to battle. Like yeah. it's just, this is like my uniform. Like I'm yeah. getting ready to fucking kill this. Like yeah. like as as soon as I'm putting on my I think that's part of it. The, 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 uh-huh. the shoes and I'm uh-huh. put on the strap. Psh, psh, you know the chalk. It's just like warrior mode like mm-hmm. let's let's get it like yeah, yeah that's yeah. the way i lift like yeah, yeah. to be honest like i'm actually a very i want to say i'm I'm a calm lifter like mm-hmm. i don't necessarily expose like my hype to lift like mm-hmm. i just like training calm just because i don't even listen to music much like i i know there's yeah. research and stuff that shows that music you know that you know could really help you out during lifting but I, I find that it, it somewhat annoys me, like when it I'm does. specifically when I'm squatting. Um, so I just try to like as a, this. I, I've been doing this as of like three six months ago or so. I started just not using no music at all, just just going in there and mm-hmm. just let's just say like doing my job right, just just lifting because I feel like it could only go up from there, right? Yeah. It's just yeah. like whenever I do need to get really fucking hyped, yeah. then it it's it's gonna work I right i think i listen to music more not so much to get me hyped but more of like a calm but it's all effect. relative yeah like, yeah like, like i think what it's you different listen to for, as well yeah yeah it's different for each person yeah like, of course of course yeah but i understand what you're saying for sure I don't like know. obviously like you know lane lane couldn't he couldn't train calm like he needs to That's get his style yeah. exactly but i think for me like where i've gotten to lately i'm 28 now and like i'm trying my best to live like an honest path like not like i not like i go out there and i lie to people or anything like that but like i'm like you know how you see old people and they just say shit and you're like wow like i'm trying to get on that now like i don't want to wait till i'm about to die to just be honest living and just be rude if i want to be rude like and so my biggest thing with lifting calm is like if i have to lie to myself every day to tell myself i'm somebody i'm not like i dude like i work fucking hard like i work a lot of hours like if at least 12 hours a day like at least that's my minimum like i don't have to get charged up for that i don't have to i don't know if no one needs to motivate me i don't need a motivational speech i don't need to fuck like i'm because i'm because you know what no. you're not gonna beat me because i'm about it like mm-hmm. i like of course dude do you fucking have to hype yourself up to brush your teeth no you just fucking do it like do it. so i'm yeah. at the mode in my life where like i won't do anything where i have to hype myself up too much like don't get me wrong like some days 
I need that Eric Thomas. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm like, I need that ET some days to remind me, like, where I came from, like, what progress I'm making. And, like, dude, like, yesterday, like, I needed to turn up that Travis Scott. Like, I needed a little bit of utopia. Like, some days I need that kick. But, like, if if I find that my routine is a chronic lying to myself, like, every day I have to hype myself up, it's like, but that's just not who I am. And I just don't want to live a life like that. So, like, the reason why, like, I'm one of the top 93s is because I, I'm just fucking, I was just born fucking strong and I'm just good at being a technical, li- like that's mm-hmm. literally it. And I just work hard. Like yeah. there's no real secret. Yeah. Like I just learn hard. I just learn a lot. And people can say like, oh sure you had a great team or you had the best team. What do you think? I just magically got it. You think mm-hmm. I just was, the team was bestowed upon me. Mm-hmm. Like I worked hard for this team. Like we worked hard to make our team, you know? So um, I think that's why I live calm and that's why I do everything calm. Like you've never seen me do anything out of control. Because, like, if it's going to make me go out of control or make me go out of character... It's a waste of energy. Dude, it's not even well. me, dog. It's like, it's like you ever, like, let's, like, relationships. You ever, like, find yourself arguing in a relationship? Waste of energy. And you're just like, you know what? If we have to even do this, like, this is not right for me. Mm-hmm. Like, I just, like, this, like, why am I doing this? You know what I mean? So I've just gotten to that point of honesty. Like, right. if I don't fuck with it, I'm not fucking with it. Like, and so, like, bodybuilding it first started in 2012 like dude i tore shit up and then i was like yeah no i don't want to do it anymore like the only way i could do it again is if i lie to myself and i go every day dude my last prep i was listening to fucking poems in my headphones i was drinking fucking co- coffee and charged up to go do i just didn't want to do it right. i just didn't want to do it anymore. i was doing it for other people i wasn't doing it mm-hmm. for me yep. so like i just so happened to do something at my point at the point in my life right now people give a fuck to follow it now like jake he's not here one of my favorite people jake likes doing shit and a lot of shit he likes doing no one gives a shit to watch or to see or to hear mm-hmm. but like we just so happen i don't know why people like our life I, I can't figure it out i mean you have to figure, I, I don't know like i can say something about lifting like i posted last night i posted a picture of a luther burger i haven't wanted a it's a donut and <laughs> buns on a burger, burger basically and mm-hmm. i'm sick of shit all day from it today but i've wanted that since 2007 I've been like I've wanted to really? do it. I just ha- right. Wow. I didn't yes. Know and that's why I did it last night because I was like I need to do this yeah. in my life. I did it for me. Wow. But like today I, I was, it was that deep. Dude, it's heavy. I only do shit I want to do. Yeah. But today I also uploaded a picture. It's a painting. Um, I saw it for the It's nature. called. It's called yeah, right. It's the it's the it's called Drifter in the Fog. I think. And mm-hmm. it's the it's what they use for the mo- pop top selling. Uh, I think Penguin Classics is the is the publisher that sells that book for Nietzsche. And there's a quote in there that I love. Now. Does anybody give a fuck about oil paintings? No. Does anybody give a fuck about Nietzsche? No, they don't. But they care about my burger. And this is what I can't figure out in life. Yeah. It's like, I'm interested in a lot of things. Like, But people only, for some odd reason, lifting weights is what people want to watch of my life. And it bugs me to, to this insane it's degree. It's just one s- dude, small like, aspect. Dude, like, you see you see the books in my room? Like, dude, yeah. like, I am into so many things. Yeah. But like for some odd reason, when I post about weights people flip yeah and they like it has so much i can make a business out of it so yeah i don't know i don't i don't know the answer i haven't figured it out but like i'm okay with it if you're interested i guess you can watch it i know it's like i post a picture of like a donut and it's like the world explodes like flipped it's just a freaking donut yep yeah or like squats i mean i i don't know just people are like Whereas if I post something else, it's like yeah, has more meaning to it. Well, to you, but not whatever. not really. Remember the yeah. remember um, so we used to, for everyone who knows my post and Jorge and everybody like we have the the Novo Garage and it's like it's fucking like online legendary. What was the first thing you said when you got into the garage, Katie, and when you saw it? The the deadlift platform. You were like. Wow, this looks different. And then you were like, "Yeah, I was like, wow, that deadlift platform is teeny. Yeah, it's tiny. It it's a tiny so little much strip of sh- in person, dude. Yeah. And it's a what was it? It's a fucking garage, right? Like I'm trying to tell people, yeah, like yeah. it's a garage, like it's yeah. a three car garage, like that's all it is, like, dude, like that three car garage. I took well, now that Jesse's out, fifth at nationals, training in a three car garage. Like you don't need no, mm-hmm. like it's all illusionary. And I, mm-hmm. I'm just at a point in my life where like. Again, why I don't live hype is because I live in a garage. Come on. I live in a garage. When I'm going to yeah. show up on game day yeah. with those lights and be like, I'm a perfect. I live in a garage. A fucking yeah. garage. Like, I can't get over that. Like, like I don't even know if the Nothing air. Nothing like MI40, huh? Dude. Shout oh, out dude. to Ben Pikulski. Yeah. Shout MI40. Out to that was sick. Tell, tell, tell everyone about MI40 if they don't know what it is. 
that you know of it so far? What do I know? It's like the most amazing, cleanest gym I've ever been to in my life. Quailing it's, off the chain, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. everything you could possibly imagine. Yeah. And just very, I don't know. It's like you can really get in your zone. It's I like, guess, well, going back to I, I music. Know. No, I, no, no, say what you were thinking. No, I... I I just appreciated the yeah, shit out of it. Right? Like, it was I like, just appreciated I, yeah. it so, so like, much. I'm, I'm, I'm Ben's busy dude. He works like I work, so like I don't listen to anybody else's shit. So I, I doubt he's sitting here listening to my podcast. But like, um, I guess a public order for Ben Pekalski, and I tell him this every time I see him. So he allows us to train at his private gym, which is called MI40. You're mm-hmm. down here in Tampa. Um, it's basically closed membership. There's not open enrollment or anything like that. He invites in there who he wants to be in there. And yesterday, the Nanobo team got to be in there and train. Um, and Ben is just one of the few dudes who has, like, to me, with his business model, I just admire in the fitness industry because, like, Congrats. he succeeds and he breeds. He not only does, like, success breed success, but he's successful. He sees other potentially yeah. successful people and he's, like, wants to meet them. He yeah. wants to, like, and he's just gotten it so right. He's like, look, I've been working over a decade on my on this shit. Yeah. Like, here's my fruits of my labor. Come, come, come and get some of your success yeah. in here and bring it back to the, and like, yeah, dude. And it's, it's like, yeah, it's he amazing. Wants other people to, it's not the gym. isn't just for himself. It's like, it, he it, wants- so it is right. It's not totally altruistic. So he has, he has his hours where he's like, I want to train today. 10, yeah, 12, no one else being here. Soul but dude, he sees it. some, yeah. he saw you guys, some people he doesn't even know. And he was like, "How are you doing? What's yeah. your name?" Like, ask like where we're from, where from? what gym like, we train just at. Just a good like dude. Yeah. And I think we need more fitness people in there. Like, yeah, no, don't get me sure. wrong. Like, go ahead. No, I was gonna. Say, no, you're right. Specifically, you know, within the not, not, in not, fitness, not to bash on the NPC specifically, but or the well, IFBB. I think I think with IFBB, like, and here's the here's the fucked up thing about business cultures too, and why I, I choose to stay on the natural side of business is because um business has momentum right and like so let's take wall street for example Mm -hmm. in the financial markets so chicago's a little more chill i'm from chicago but new york is out of control why one day some company i don't know who decided like what if we like just don't go home and like do coke and they set the new standard and now everybody if you want to keep up like to compete you have to work 80 hours a week. You have to fucking, you don't have yeah. to do coke, obviously. But, like, you have to have, excuse me, something that makes you be a machine. And mm-hmm. so, like, I think what the NPC did is that very early on in the game, somebody was like, yo, let's act this way. And now if you want to compete, everyone's got to be savage. So, like, yeah. with our side of the industry, no one has gotten, with some, but no one has gotten gone full savage yet. So the standards of business conduct is still very, like... Uh, it's it's admirable to some degree so like that's why i really like this side because like i can actually implement actual business practices in that business sense and like the mpc side i mean there's a ton of money in there there's more money in there than than any other place Mm but um yeah that's just uh yeah i just have different like morals and dude it's a different it's a different code it's a different code yeah it's a lot of money but it's, it's not really like you were saying, yeah. you know, this side of it, you can take it and do something with it on your own. Whereas I feel to, like know, with the, the NPC, yeah. I mean, I've competed in both NPC and natural, um, so it's not like I'm, you know, bashing them or anything. But just it's it, overall culture. It's though. like you're throwing money at something that's that it, it just stays there. It's not and that's everyone can and the and the yeah. and the issue is not like and this is here's the worst thing about I think IFBB NPC is that even the people in it hate it yeah like that's the truly saddest yeah. part to me it's like everyone in there and says oh you know how, and they've accepted this like you know how it is like you know how it goes yeah. and judges and yeah. bo- and they yeah. all accept this bullshit and they know and they know girls are sleeping with judges and mm-hmm. but they don't care yeah. but it's like no one seems to want to make a change yeah. you know what i mean and so like me on my side um i came from a great company salvation and i was like i think there needs to be more great companies yeah. so mike mccallish shout out to you i know you probably you don't even listen to this, but shout out to you. <laughs> so I like the model and how it was mentored. So mm-hmm. with the Nova, it's like there need to be more great companies. Yeah. So we made a great company. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so like there's more of us coming out now. There's Citadels and things like that. Like more of us doing this thing now. Like great companies. But that's going to be slow because right now the thing to do is craze. You know, literally put fucking amphetamines in your pre-workout. Just put drugs in your pre-workout. Like... 
and some products like i won't name them like yeah. put things like low dose viagra in their products wow. be, like yeah. and dude like knowingly do this like dude i like there's n- there's no way you don't know what's in your product like but that's it's like the wawa west still you know it's like mm-hmm. it's like the cowboy show so um i guess uh with that said we're all kind of doing our thing in fitness now you ever think like what you'd want to do after fitness or like or if there wasn't fitness at all yeah or yeah uh, both if there wasn't fitness at all or what you will do now that you are here kind of after because we're all going to leave it at some point yeah. like and not be in it full time at right. least like you ever right. think about that i mean i've thought about it i have and i guess kind of my mindset is like what what's next in terms of like where can i go so i'm sorry i don't mean not training i think we'll all train for the rest of our lives but but being in the industry in the shit right profitable yeah yeah income off of right exactly yeah like the rest of your life closer um but yeah i don't know i mean i i definitely have thought about it i guess since i'm newer kind of that's right it's like i'm still trying to develop what in. i'm in yeah, yeah yeah like i don't feel like i'm nearly where i want to be so that's kind of on my mind right now it's like how can you're i you're consumed with just the, the yeah like that, how can i get better though. in that's what exactly evolve. i'm doing and i've thought about it kind of in in long term and thinking about well probably my best option will be to invest in something and absolutely you know so yep. that's where i'm at i'm trying to do just a lifelong entrepreneurship yeah like i'm trying yeah. to do um you know i worked in the corporate world and it just wasn't for me so i I don't right think now. it's for anybody. I think it's for who accepts it. Yeah. And who takes it. It's no, no, I take that back. It is for some people. Yeah, some people. <laughs> some people just like some the people like that people like structure. It. Yeah, the, structure. They like to be told what to do. Uh-huh. I hate everything like, about I crumble. I no, hate I hate being told what to do. <laughs> the yeah. security, I hate being told what to do by, some, by an idiot. Yeah. Like, if you're, like, like yeah, you guys yeah, can yeah, tell me yeah, what yeah. to do, and if I respect your opinion, I'm like. Exactly. It's for non takers Yeah, someone you respect, and it's like, okay, I'll do that shit. But if I know because of you've been here longer than me and right. you're telling me what to do like right. that's no it's for people that don't like yeah. taking risks yeah so that's what i i mean yeah. personally i want to grow whatever the heck i'm gonna do i don't know i'm still figuring out what i'm doing no. and grow that and then somehow get you know be an entrepreneur invest in something make yeah just grow but yeah, I, I mean i don't know how that is yet have your own baby have something yeah, that's yours yeah yeah, yeah that's outside about. that's more that's not just fitness and that's what i or you know not just powerlifting or figure it's like something else of course so, yeah. oh i get that yeah, yeah, yeah so that's I, like I, I but i'm still so new that in in this that i'm just trying to figure out my that you have my nothing right you're now. not thinking of nothing else right. you're just thinking about how can you keep growing right, this what you right. have now and, and fine-tuning and developing it and like i want to be better like I, i'm not satisfied at all so you You're know just step into it now yeah, yeah, yeah. so it makes sense yeah that's so interesting it is it is like but you, go ahead all right but that's the question was you know basically what would you do after fitness right. so let's just say there wasn't fitness yeah like what would what do you think know. you would be doing right there wasn't fitness like, do you think you'd still be in the corporate world and just... Like, That's so hard to say. Well, it, it's, it's, it's hard like, to say, but this is kinda, like... I mean... Like, what would you say I mean, comes secondary say it's, to it's your... It's not, like, a relevant question, but, like, that's just kind of how my life, like, happens. No, so, like, of course. Yeah, so I don't know... Thinking about, like, how could my life be different? Well, fitness is just it is. part of you it. It is, yeah. yeah. So... I mean, if fitness all of a sudden wasn't there, or if I didn't couldn't train or something, then I guess it'd be I, relevant then. Uh, right? Okay, I think I know, right? Okay. I think I know. I can think I can answer that, but I can't answer it in the you same, can, in the same way. Yeah. I can't. I, I, can't. I, I can't really. So yeah. here's what I would do, um, and I talk about this with Jake a lot. Jake's one of my good friends outside of work. Um, I get into things like I have interest, right? Mm-hmm. And it's kind of the natural order of life with things is that you have interest and then from your interests, you choose like where you want to like your hobbies. And then from your hobbies, you choose like work, work, moves into passion, mm-hmm. that kind of pro- process. So fitness started as an interest. Like when I was interested in fitness, I was also interested in like car audio stuff. I was also interested at the time in like um 
I used to love like nightclubs stuff when I was younger. Like I just love like the like design, like architectural design of like night. Like I loved it, like modern design. So like, if it didn't exist, I would have just picked another interest, and it would have exploded the same right. way. I think. Yeah. So you would like, just put the same yeah. amount of hours right yeah. because yeah. like any because like I would have because like I, I think we're all the type of person that inevitably, um, just from a self actualization standpoint of self satisfaction in life, we have to have a passion. And mm-hmm. so, like, I would have picked something for right. that passion. It would have, right. whether it be art, whether it would be, like, dude, this fucking, po- I don't know how to fucking podcast. Like, dude, well, I'm, I've, like, I figured no, this out have, myself. Yeah. We have, we do have multiple passions, you know? Mm-hmm. It's just, dude. But it's allocation of that passion. Right. Right. Fitness hogs a lot not, of it. Yeah. Oh, of course, right of now. course. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, like, I guess for me, like, it's still fitness related, but in high school, I was a track runner. And yeah, that exactly. Was, like, that was I everything. Was so you never thought about anything other than that. It was like, yeah, it, it, where am I going to go to school yeah. to run? What what college? Is, like that's ex- all I was thinking of. What um you know what kind of time can I run at states so I can get a scholarship yeah. and get a full ride? Or you know that was my goal. I was like, I'm getting a full ride. To you want to know I'm something track. crazy? So what? my little brother and I were 18 months apart, and we both ran track growing yeah. up together. My brother so ran track, and we were. Yeah. I stopped in in college. Yeah, he kept going all the way up to. And like, he's like, he's at like the it. Olympic World yeah, Championship yeah. Olympic level. So like I watch his life and I'm like, huh? That's what it, that's that that would have happened. Okay, and like it's almost satisfying in yeah, a way. Like yeah. it's almost satisfying to see like because most people don't know like it's like because my brother is very like me and I so he's made a a series of choice like I don't think I've ever fully disagreed with the choice he's ever made mm-hmm. like that's how similar we are. Mm-hmm. So every decision he's made, I'd been like I would have done the same thing. Yeah. So to see his life play out, it's almost fuck. It's weird. It's yeah. like yeah. Ah, that's that would have been my yeah, life if I would have yeah, kept going. Yeah. And dude, like I must say, like you just gotta go with what you choose. Right. I'm not saying I would have been better or worse, but like I'm kind of happy that I'm doing what I'm doing now. Mm-hmm. And it it's just it's just track is ending for him because he's 26 now, okay. right? So he's got like one more Olympic year and like maybe two more international. Yeah. Like you're old in track at 30, yeah. you know? So like, and then he's moving on, but. Again, I ask a question because I see what he's going through in his life, and he knows the end is near. Mm-hmm. But he can, dude, he can go anywhere and be a track coach and get paid, and right. like, he'll always have money right. in it. Like he'll always be right. in it. But like, what becomes of you when that? And it's it's gonna end. Like earlier, we were talking about strippers, right? Like, sure, you could make ten k a night, but like, <laughs> you end, have yeah. up until twenty four, twenty five, and then it's gonna go down to eight, then seven k, and then and you're gonna be thirty four, wondering what happened. Yeah, be you know what I mean? You'll be heard in major, you know? So it's like, but in that frictional time of interest, you have to switch and find something. Right, and I think you have to find something that you're also passionate about and start investing in that too. So it can be, so like for your brother, I mean, he'll probably, I mean, he'll, like, he could be a track coach anywhere. Yeah, anywhere. So so he could be a track coach and then also be thinking about, you know, that kind of gives you... I mean, he's passionate about Opening track. Opening up his so, own track facility. Right. And then you like can that. Right, and start that's, like, doing yeah. something else and like thinking about, well, what's next? I mean, it's not like it's a flip but it's of a still, switch. But yeah. it's still within the, with, with, yeah. within the oh, same shit. passion. I didn't get that ART today. Oh, <laughs> your neck. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, my neck. <laughs> Dude, but you know what's fucked up, though, about fitness? is like people don't do that. They don't invest yeah. elsewhere in fitness. Right. That's the problem. Fitness is going to end one day. Like what else are you interested in? Yeah. Like what? Like like even last I, time we talked, you I said mean, what are you doing? What are you doing? When it wasn't Instagram boring. ends, fitness ends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I, I think so. I think fitness has always been just as hot. Except no, it there's is. been it's less been, winners. Yeah, yeah, now there's like I was just many more platforms. Dude, I'll be real. Yeah. Like we have spent but on Instagram actual, has dude on actual dude. marketing. Uh, our Denova, I'll say this publicly. Like, fucking, I hate to say this, but I got this from Mike McCandless. Like, Mike has done with Mike own salvation he has done very well <laughs> i won't even i'm not gonna say his numbers but he uh, virtually spends zero dollars on marketing like because he allocates that marketing resource to like the people right in his company or like, like athletes or like yeah. um or social media he's leveraged that major and i kind of got that from him and i'm doing the same thing with the novo like the novo has gotten all of its traction all of its sales like we haven't been in one page yeah. ad we haven't right. spent we haven't spent one sponsor on an event. Like we haven't yeah. spent a dollar on. Like why am I? Why am I spend that much money? Ten k to sponsor an event? No, I could do a ten k. Like man, like yeah. Man, like it's yeah. just there's more. Like if here's the and here's dude, the, some of these athletes are getting paid like two fifty, dude. A year. Because you know why? 
You know why, though? I know this girl. I'm not going to say dude, her name, but she's get, dude, she gets you know paid two fifty a year you know why? just to post a couple wow. dude, fucking shit a You know why? Because wow. it costs a lot of money to sell lies. A lot of money to lie. Like, dude, De Novo ain't lied to nobody. And, like, it's coming up off for free. Like, yeah, on the free. Because yeah. people can't wait to be part of something genuine. You know, I'm not saying, like... So, like, these people, like, obviously, like, they got big names and you need to get paid, like, that much money. But, like... Well, what happens when they cut that money down exactly. or it leaves? And also, is your like, belief still there? How, like going back to what we were saying earlier, like how sustainable is that? You know, it's like okay, it'll pop might for be, a while. Yeah, two fifty, sure, and it's like kind of selling. Some lies. better looking girl come along the way, right? Yeah. Dude, like okay, you're out. That's she looks how better it than is. you, and I'm paying her only sixty, and it's just gonna rotate right, out. Right. And here's the thing about life, like what's real, and like this is why. Um, Coca-Cola is like one of my favorite co- companies. One, they've been in business for more than 100 years. That's very rare to find. Like, think about a business from the 1950s. Who was fuck who? Mm-hmm. Like, like Walmart's a new company. Like, all these companies are new companies. Like, Apple's a new company. Well, Apple wasn't around fucking in the 1950s, 40s. Like, so Coke's been around 100 years. And on to top it off, their slogan is Coke. It's the real thing. Like, I love that because like it's heavier than just a fancy saying. But like, Coke is the real thing because they've been around for 100 years sustainably in business they've grown every year maybe they try to grow i think like 2.5 percent versus these companies like remember you told me about when you worked people would be freaking out every quarter right, over right. like every can you imagine 400 quarters of freaking out up and down over 100 years or like, every every week dude you gotta <laughs> chill out so like yeah this is what i've done with my life essentially and i'm trying to do is but the best i can with the novo is that you gotta ride comfortably and ride real because like with your business if you try to be the flavor of the week like there's always going to be a flavor of the week and it seems like the flavor of the week is always better than you but in reality it's a rotation Mm -hmm. it's a like so think about every super fucking high level fitness shit that's happened in the past year and the person you think is so much better than you a company that thinks is so much better than you like think about a year ago today if you can remember so a year ago today what was January. who was like what was the hottest shit oh god think about who was at the la fit expo a year ago and they were the hottest shit where are they now gone somebody else is in their place somebody else, like and somebody else is going to take that place and someone else is going to take that place yeah. and someone else is going to take that place like so i just don't even worry about the top because the top is like top can be fucking gongam style mm-hmm. and then if it's not gongam style <laughs> it's fucking like fuck the top ride where you need to ride yeah. like ride your shit comfortably and like stay in that place because like dude the top the top so there's only two things you can do at the top either be chasing to it or defending it mm-hmm. and i just rather be in a place where i my shit is the real thing yeah like yeah. dude fucking what comes out cold chasing. red mountain dew like and coke is like no coke. just yeah right dude and they yeah. and they write it out like yeah. you got to be smart about shit you can't be the flavor of the month that's just me though if you, you want to be the flavor be of the month. chasing trends all the time like dude it's you just, can't no. be you got to be a trendsetter you have to be the trend center and then here's the, i think the best part it's like you got to come out with volumes of shit too mm-hmm. like of course. so like we are already as a company a small company like we put some shit out and we see people buying our stuff uh, st- sorry people are copying our stuff mm. and i'm like damn bro like yeah. copy me like okay that's cool but like the thing is like dude we got endless shit we got we got endless volumes and it's like rappers i i, I talk about it a lot like think about that any rapper ever blow up off their first mixtape or any artist ever blow up off their first song it was good think about adele she had some good mm-hmm. shit what was our first album 21 or something like that like or something I have no idea. she put she just calls her album her age number like i forgot what it's called correct me if i'm wrong it was like 20 or 20 yeah, or something yeah, yeah. and it was a good album yeah then like she put out like 21 dude and the dell blew up now think about her shit this year yeah. like the hello shit dude <laughs> like you have to keep putting out volumes because right. if you say i'm creative once and you want to write off that Dude, no. people are gonna know you're not a creative person, mm-hmm. and so like, I don't know, it's a music and it's a Dell, but like you got it, Drake. Dude, just back to back. That's not enough. Bam, Hotline Bling. Hotline Bling's not enough. Like the shit he put out with Future. Like, dude, and he just keeps going, and yeah. like that's success to me. Like you have to keep out doing your last thing. If you try to jump from, uh, what was? I'm sorry, I'm gonna stick on Drake. Can't be a one hit wonder, man. Dude, no. Like, you got to pace yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, everyone wants to jump. Yeah. Share for share, follow for follow, follow me. Like, right. What What now? 
like a, a following full of dead people you know so i don't know i think that's the thing that worries me about fitness is that people are do you want attention or do you want money well like, that's what are you trying same, to achieve in your business now that you're saying that with basically like you just gave the example of drake like oh this is not good enough boom that's kind of the same thing with let's just say natural bodybuilding it's just like you're shredded for a period of time or you know you're dieting down and it's just like after that what do you have yeah. to offer like right. what more like you know, how your much followers more can I get? are not interested in following you because you're not posting pictures of your shredded that's, or your progress yep. yeah. and that's in the last podcast that I was that we did that I did with you guys that's the main thing that I talked about it's just like what more do I have to offer than just being shredded right. or yeah. just being fucking think- strong because yeah one thing is like I, I don't even want to fucking think about dieting right now like dude like that's no. like my productivity level goes yeah. to shit man dude and I can hardly eat a rice cake that's what I'm talking about like, like, cause I think about wow, prep I love rice cakes I, I, you haven't yeah, been man, that long like, like, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> dude for the, la- for the last year man I just hey, I dude, for, like, been enjoying life last man you did that was long um, same thing with see but I've done that like five times though yeah like I've just had a taste. Yeah. Like, my first prep, I was, like, 20, 21 or something right, like that. Right, right. I think uh, you have to make your business model something. Like, it can't just well, be. Well, that's the thing, because. With, it has to be sustainable. Being strong, yeah. dude, you can get injured, and then that's it. Yeah. And then what, I mean, what else do you have to offer now? I think that's beauty. So, for you, like, I would say for you, you're in a fucking pretty good position, man. If you were to. I can disappear and Nova would move on. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, you would be good. Like, but. But that's a personality thing. Exactly. Like, why is DeNovo a thing? Is because, like, I pull P-O-O-L resources. I pull resources like a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Like, I I know what I could be. Dude, I could have a... If I spent all my time and energy into coaching and having a YouTube channel on, like, my philosophy... Dude. Yeah. Yo. Or, or, or... Do I put more of those resources into my people and we all come up right. like when, if you need content. something yeah the, the resource will have you and so for me it, that's literally the difference between what jim collins would call a good company and a great company i've always wanted a great company i don't want a good company or anything like that so i mean for me it's like sure like i could get mine now but what if i like died and somebody and like i had people working for me like what would happen right. then like it's just the show's just kind of over you know what i mean so for me that's always been the appeal of the i guess corporation or like or the bigger group so it's not that i'm in a good position i think we're in a good position you know and like as long as what's the fucking thing called megatron megatron or voltron voltron Voltron. it's like voltron it's like you can go try to fight by yourself and you'll probably do a good job but like if jorge you be the fucking arm katie you be the fucking the leg the quads (laughs) i'll be ben will be the brain he'll sit up in the brain like (laughs) like you it's almost scary like you can't stop that you know what i'm saying so Um, so yeah, that's, that, that's my worry. It's like, what do you do with all your popularity? Do you just, Mm -hmm. do you, are you keep being popular because you like being popular or are you trying to do something with it? So I think, I think it's, since it's still new, we're starting to see that, like, we'll see who's in this game to be popular as we're already starting to see some people and who's in this game to like add value to our community with their popularity. Mm -hmm. So like, I'll say on record, like Cali Muscle, like, like Cali Muscle has like, He's extremely popular, and he's made me laugh a lot. Like, I enjoy laughing at his shit. But, like, versus a, like, I don't know, say somebody like Mark Lobliner, who I did work for Mark Lobliner at one point. Like, he makes me laugh, but, like, yo, he's brought some some good products to the market. Like, he's, Mm -hmm. like, he, like, Mark Mark is single-handedly responsible for the explosion of salvation. Like, that was Mark's doing, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't know. I just feel like maybe that's where I came from and that's like what I want to honor still yeah. to this day too. So when the tide comes in, we'll see who's swimming naked. Warren Buffett. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um all right, we have like a bunch of people at our house now, so yeah. you guys anything yeah, we, else? Yeah, we, I don't know. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. Good. Uh, My first podcast. Your first podcast where you actually get a chance to like say good stuff, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not, not, not scripted. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. First to know thank you. Shats, thank you. Thank of you. Shet, you got one more thing. You got something on your mind you want to get off before we go? Because <laughs> you heard him last time. You don't want to do it again. You heard him. <laughs> no, what? Shats, what's on your mind? Mine? Um, I have man, something on my mind. That's Sustainability. That's no. like on my mind. 
I don't know. Just sustainability? What you have to do has to be sustainable. That's good. That's a good takeaway. Yeah. yeah. So I think if you invest in more people, like you were saying, that's more sustainable than yeah. just ride in. But people live their life like druggies. They just want it to feel good right. here and now. And you have to think tied. about the long term. And like you were but saying no one too, about that. with training, like you can't, can't just be like hyping yourself. Like when I go to train, I do it because I, I love it. Yeah. And you know, some days are higher than, or I feel better than others, but it can't be like every single time I'm trying to do something to make myself go exactly, train. Exactly. Like it has to be sustainable. Yeah, exactly. So. Exactly. Underlying thing. Shut. It's on your mind. Jorge didn't talk this podcast. <laughs> I'm so upset. He he didn't want to say it. Last time he dropped so much shit. I, he, I was energized. No, you know, yesterday I tested, man. I didn't sleep, man. The heat. Yeah, heat, you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm the heat. Are you from Puerto Rico? Heat. <laughs> <laughs> the heat, man. Last night, not tonight. Um, All right, man. You don't want to talk. Yeah, man. I'm about. Sh- LS is gonna come here. Uh, I think next week. I don't know. So you can come back down. If you want. I might even go to Orlando. Yeah, so, it's pending your schedule. All right, well, I'm still on the podcast. All right, let's go. All right. <laughs> Bye. All right, thank you, everyone. All right, thank you, guys. Thanks.